Hello, it's Brian McCarthy from Bull and Break, and we're going to be making the sick UI. In After Effects, no plugins, you know the game. We make sick stuff using nothing but our minds, and an Adobe subscription that is way overpriced. Let's check it out. and welcome to this tutorial. Let's get started and you know it, create a new comp, call this waveform. We are going to make our height of this composition 1920 and our width 1080. Don't worry, this is not a social media ad. I'm not tricking you. Next, create a solid, control Y, call this wave base. Make the solid the same size as your composition. We are going to add the beautiful and underused wave world and i'm going to explain how to use this now change your view to height map and yes it is what it says it is a height map it's based off a sine wave had this automatic displacement of a height map working it is lovely and it can drive a lot of cool things which you will see now the first thing we are going to do is go down to our, our height map controls change the brightness to 0.15 getting a separation between the waves now, which is what we want. Maybe bring our contrast down to 0.3, not so much, maybe 0.2, let's tweak that a little bit. Okay, cool, that can work. And bring our gamma up to two, and that way we can adjust these even more. Okay, cool, so we're getting the separation. Maybe bring our gamma up to 2.5, brilliant. Now, the next thing we want to do is add more resolution to our grid, bring that up to 100 in simulation. Gonna get rid of any low sampling that's happening within this waveform. We can add find edges, and this is looking quite cool but we need more detail. So let's add some contrast in brightness and contrast, bring our brightness down and bring our contrast down. We're also getting this interesting effect at the top. I actually quite like it, so I'm gonna leave it for now. We could add some grit to our final look. Okay, cool. Now the next thing we want to do is create another new comp and we're still keeping it 1080 by 1920. We're going to name this comp to wave UI build. We're going to bring in waveform in here. VR digital glitch. Look at that. Isn't that cool? We've got this very cool glitchy effect going on. You can tweak the parameters as you please in here. And the next thing we're going to do is add a difference mat, which will make this wave transparent, bring down our tolerance to zero. So we have this nice transparent wave. And that is looking cool. We are going to duplicate our waveform. And in the lower waveform, we're going to delete both of these effects. And we're going to add Griddler. And Griddler is going to add some detail to the waveform below. You will see what I mean now. So we're going to bring our tile size down to one. And let's just, for visual purposes, just make this black solid. We're going to delete it later and bring this down to maybe one as well. So our horizontal scale and bring our vertical scale down to 10. So the reason we are doing this is because when we bring it into the final composition, we want to have these UI dots um, that is sitting below our actual waveform. And you'll see that here. If we were to turn off this, instead of making these dots, we can just use Griddler, cut everything, chop everything up, and it's all part of the kind of same look and feel. So let's delete this black layer, create a, another new composition, call this main UI. Then in our width section, we want to add 1920, and in our height section, we want to add 1080. We want to add a black solid, call this BG. And we want to bring on our wave UI build, make this layer 3D, and then collapse our layer, go into transform on the X axis. Let's go minus 85, and we can tweak this here. Then we want to repeat this, so on either side. So if we go CC, rep, we can tile this layer, mirror it. So we'll go 500 on the left, maybe more. Let's go 800 on the left and 800 on the right. And we have this cut off here and the end is 
cut off. So we want to add some kind of fog or fall off to that. So let's create another black solid, call that fog. Press Q to get up our rectangular mask. Bring this mask out, collapse our mask, give it a feather, maybe 20, maybe more, maybe 100, maybe not that much. And bring down our mask here. And you just, you get a nice fall off into the abyss and fog. Okay, cool. So we have our basic UI set up. This is quite cool with all these kind of glitches and stuff going back. And the cool thing about the CC rep is the waveforms now repeat into each other, which is very cool. How do we make this look like it has a bit of depth? We add a displacement map to our wave UI build. So we've added this displacement map and the repeated tiles aren't having the same effect. So what we do is we change our layer order and we bring our repetition to last. So it's the last effect rendered on this composition and we don't have to do any finicky stuff with this. In our displacement map, we want to tick wrap pixels around so we get no gaps in between this displacement. Change our horizontal displacement to luminance. Bring this up to 10 and that's quite cool. Let's just play with some of these values and see what happens. I quite like saturation. That's quite cool. Okay, let's maybe scale up our to about 130. Scale up our wave UI build composition. We don't need that much fog and we can on our reptile also repeat upwards. We're getting a lot of waves here. Maybe we can take down the amplitude a little bit but you're getting the general effect working quite nicely. The next thing we want to do is add a camera. So hold Control, Alt, Shift, C, add the camera. And um, actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete this fog. I don't think it's gonna work. We're going to go back and select our Wave UI build and just tile everything right up again. Use the sliders here and tile that up. We are going to turn on depth of field. And we're going to start to tweak the position of our camera of the Y and then bring it in on the Z. Bring down our focus distance to about 100. And this way you can start to see where the focus is going to happen. And let's just move up in our timeline and start to just slowly move our focus distance up. Let's change our iris shape to hexagon. Slowly move our focus distance up. And then we get this kind of cinematic look, which is quite nice. That works quite well. I would say we can move our Z position back for our camera. This is about tweaking these values until you get the look you want in the position of the camera. And you know, that might be too blurry, but you can really kind of art direct it with this camera. Now, the next thing we can do here, offset the Wave UI build composition. Add a keyframe to shift to center, go up to maybe 10 seconds just to see how it's working. And you can get this offset of the animation. Looks like it's coming towards you, kind of a parallax effect. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Definitely worth checking out some of the underused tools and effects in After Effects. Let me know what you think of this in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe. Goodbye and thank you for watching.